How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you and your family, your friends, and your loved ones, Paul, help me out on this. Paul and I both hope you, your family, your friends, your loved ones, have have a, a lovely, wonderful, lovely, safe and sane uh, holiday weekend. Holiday weekend, yeah. yes. Yes, we do. What holiday are we talking about? I, I, what is it? I don't know. There's no... I'm sorry. For, forget I brought the okay, whole thing no, up. No, a lovely weekend. It's the malt liquor talking. Yeah, we have, hope you have a lovely weekend. I love you people. <laughs> Sentimental drunk. <laughs> oh, great. You have a lovely weekend. <laughs> That's what it is. You are so beautiful. <laughs> to me. One of those guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Friday night we open up, uh, we answer, you know, we do this because we care about you, the home viewers. We answer our uh, viewer mail because we care. We want to establish a connection. This is the original two-way television. We open up the old CBS mailbag. Here we go, boys. Letters. We get letters. We get sacks and sacks of letters. Okie dokie. Hypnotized by the rhythmic clapping. All right, letter number one. <laughs> Uh, dear David, seems like every time I crack, uh, crack open a magazine, there's Paul Schaefer staring back at me with a milk, uh, chocolate milk all over his face. Alexander Steinhardt, San Francisco, California. That's pretty good. You know what he's talking about, Paul, and I think this is not bad. This is uh, the new issue of Rolling Stone, and on the back page, look at there. There's our buddy, Paul That's Schaefer. It, it's the chocolate. <laughs> it's the big shot. Chocolate milk mustache. Mr. One Hatman, dude. And it's kind of a pleasant coincidence because this is the uh, current issue, and look who is on the cover. Yours truly, Dave. So Paul's on the wow, back. Wow, look at you. There I am on the cover. Well, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> he's nice. He, he's nice, ain't it? He's fun to pretend, huh? Let her... Uh, have a, come on. Let, let, let Daddy buy you a cocktail. Oh, sentimental book. <laughs> Conventioneers, every hotel in the city right now that's going on. Uh, dear Dave, is there somebody you haven't seen for a while that you really miss? Yours, uh, Ron Lalonde, Inuvik, Northwest Territories, Canada. You know where Inuvik is, Paul? Ever heard of it? It's Inuvik? Up north. Yeah, Northwest Territories. Oh, oh, Northwest Territory. Yeah, well, that's that big area at the yeah, top well, it of would, Canada. You were, you were right. It would be up, up north. north yeah. Yeah. It's by the, and it's out west. So uh, it's out northwest. west, north, yeah. and west. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Northwest Territory. By the very, Yukon. What a bright student yeah. we All have right. in Paul. Well, thank you. Thank you, uh, The question is, uh, dear Dave, is there somebody you haven't seen for a while that you really miss? A uh, good question, uh, Ron. Uh, back in 1985, as you know, uh, I starred in the hit situation comedy, My Daddy the Nurse. <laughs> I played a uh, male nurse trying to make ends meet in a uh, small town in Colorado, and playing the part of my son in those days, Paul knows him, was a fine young actor, Joey O'Neill. There yes, he is, right there. Yeah. That's a scene from My Daddy the Nurse, that's right. <laughs> well. I haven't seen or heard from Joey since the uh, show was canceled after its first season, but he's here with us tonight, oh, li live great. via satellite. Turn it on, ladies great. and gentlemen. Please welcome Joey O'Neill. Oh, <laughs> Joey! Hi, you, Mr. Letterman. How you doing there, Joey? Nice to see you. Tough luck. Um, what, what exactly are you in for, buddy? Dave, the only thing I've done wrong is I'm, I'm guilty of stealing the hearts of America from 1985 to January of 1986. Uh -huh. Plus, I dealt enormous amounts of heroin. Right. All right. Well, we're <laughs> certainly sorry to hear that, Joy. Joey O'Neill, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us, Joey. I like you too. I love it. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's right. It's the first rule of comedy: when you don't have an ending, drag him off. <laughs> Just let him rant and then drag him out. Uh, letter number three. Uh, Dear Dave, what do you do when you just can't sleep? Uh, yours, uh, Eva, across uh, Los Angeles, California. I watch this show. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you just can't sleep? Yours, Eva, across Los Angeles, California. Uh, everybody has little tricks, and I have one. Pretty effective. I used it, gosh, it seems like it was just the other night. I used this to get to sleep. Always works like a charm. One Baldwin brother, two Baldwin brothers, three Baldwin brothers, four Baldwin brothers, five Baldwin brothers. Bingo! Zippy! Adios, Florida!
Lesson number two, if you don't have an ending, get Richard Simmons. That's on. <laughs> Works like a charm as well. Yeah. Uh, letter number four, dear Dave, how many chickens can you fit in the theater without cramming? Uh, Luke Browning, Woodside, California. How many chickens can you fit in the theater without cramming? You know, that's a fascinating question. Let's just, let's just, I, te I tell you what, I tell you what, let's find out how many. Let's just... Chickens, 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 chickens. Can I help you? Yes, sir. I'd like to buy a couple hundred, uh... Doggies. Doggies, please. No problem. Lesson, lesson number four, when you don't have an ending, bring in the dogs.